Hi guys and welcome back to a new video. In today's video I want to talk about a category of items that I'm sure many of you already have and that I'm sure you're wondering what you can do with and I want to explain why you should not vendor these items and how you can make a lot of gold with these different items. So these items are going to be some materials that basically you will get when you will reach Renown 21 with the Dragon Scale Expedition reputation. When you will reach Renown 21, you will unlock these jeweled whelping treasure maps. And basically, when you get these different maps, you can then find some chests and some treasures that will contain five different type of materials, including, for instance, this one, these glimmering clusters. And so with these different materials, you can then craft five different pets with a jewel crafter. And you can, of course, then cage the pet and sell it on the auction house. So this is something that you will be able to get even if you are not playing on a jewel crafter. For instance, right now, as you can see, I'm playing on a character that has blacksmithing and never working. But this is still something you will be able to get even, again, if you don't have jewel crafting as a profession. So it means that then you will get these different clusters that are only really useful in order to craft these different pets. And so this is why I'm sure many of you are wondering what should I do with these items? What can I do over than just maybe getting ring of them? Because unfortunately, I'm not playing on the jewel crafter and these are binds when picked up. Well, there is one thing that you can do in order to make some gold with all these different items. So all you want to do is go in the crafting order uh, vendor and then here you want to click on battle pets. And here, as you can see, you will have all these different jeweled whelpings that are the pets that you can craft with these items. And you can use your item in order to request or make a personal or public order and request someone to craft the pet for you. So I would highly recommend you to do that because like that, you will be able to get the pet and to then learn it, cage it and sell it on the auction house or simply to get it for yourself. So really, this is what I would highly recommend you to do because, again, otherwise you might not be able to do a lot of things with these different clusters. And here you will be able to actually get your hands on the pet without even having the need of having a jewel crafter. So keep in mind that if you want someone to actually do it and to craft the pet for you, always try to make a pretty good commission. So I would say, for instance, here, maybe 10,000 or something like that would be pretty good. And on most realms, probably someone will be interested and will craft it for you. When it comes to how you can find all these different treasures, it's pretty simple. Uh, here on Warhead, a lot of people shared some pretty good information about where you can find all the different maps and then all the different treasures and what you need to do in order to get all these different clusters. So I will share this link in the description. Please feel free to have a look and then normally you will have all the information you need in order to find all these different treasures. Keep in mind that with these different clusters, there is one thing that non-jewel crafters can do in order to use it. And it's simply by buying all these different blades. So for each of them, you will have a different transmog or cosmetic blade that you will be able to buy. But these are binds when picked up items, so you won't be able to actually make gold with them. So again, if your goal is to try and make some gold with these different items, I would really recommend you to instead try and get your hands on the pets because they will sell for a lot of gold when this cosmetic sword, unfortunately, won't sell for anything. So when it comes to the value on European realms, so all these different pets sell really, really well. As you can see, this one is going to be between 100 to 138k and on most realms it's more than 100k this one is 97 to 152k this one is 50 to 93k this one is 90 to 120k and this one is 90 to 122k and then for the us region we have this one that is 180 to 185k this one is 141 to 167k 100 and 144 for this one then 163 to 190 for the ruby one. And finally, for the sapphire one, it's 200 to 220k gold. So as you can see, all these different pets sell for a lot of gold. And of course, I know many of you are going to say, well, yes, but pets don't sell. And this is not something that is worth my time. 
So just to show you here that the pet actually sells. So recently I bought some of them for a very cheap price on a high pop room and I transferred them onto my low pop room where I was the only one selling them. And as you can see, I was able to sell most of them for a really, really good amount of gold. So really keep in mind that normally these items, you will anyway get them if you are working on maxing up your reputation with the Dragon Scale Expedition. And again, you can only use them in order to craft these different pets or to buy these cosmetic swords that unfortunately are binds when picked up. So really, if you want to make some gold with these items, that's the best way for you. And especially something that normally should not really take you too much time. And again, after that, you can always try and sell the pet. And if you can't, you can just learn it and keep it for your collection. So that's going to be pretty much it for today's video. I really hope you will be able to make some gold with these pets. I will be back very soon with more guides and more videos. And in the meantime, I wish you all a great week. Bye.